My name is Miss Sophia from the Family Involvement Center in Montgomery County, Maryland. Thank you for joining me for Art Time today. Today we are going to make a sensory bottle. Sensory bottles are lots of fun for children to use and they help them with regulating their breathing, calming down, and children really enjoy just watching the contents of the bottle settle as they move it back and forth. So here are some of the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a quarter cup of vegetable oil. You're going to need some glitter or sequins if you have them. You can take a closer look at the sequins. You're going to need some food coloring of any color that you have. I'm using green today. And then you're going to need a bottle, probably one that maybe had water or juice in it, and you're going to need to fill it with water to about where I have it right here. All right, so let's begin. So I already have water in my bottle and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna first add some oil. So let's take a closer look at that. And I spilled some at the side, but that is okay. So as I pour the water, or the oil in the top, you see how the oil settles? Good, I'm glad you're seeing that. Now, I'm going to add some glitter. And you can use as much glitter as you want or as little glitter as you would like. So I'm gonna take the top off and I have pink glitter today. So I'm going to pour it in here. And you'll also see how that glitter settles at the top in the oil. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my food coloring. So I'm just gonna put it at the top. And either way, if you wanna put it first in the water or if you wanna put it with the oil, it is up to you. So I'm going to put this in here like this. And I'm only going to do one drop because I wanna make sure that I'm able to see my glitter as it moves back and forth. So now what you'll need to do is you'll need to put the top back on your sensory bottle. What colors of glitter and food coloring did you use? Oh, wow. Some people use red, some people use green, yellow, blue, even purple your sensory bottle is gonna look really, really great. So now I'm just taking the top of my bottle and I'm tightening it so that none of the water will come out. And now I'm going to shake it and see what happens. Let's take a closer look. Wow, do you see? Let's take a closer look. Do you see how all of the glitter is coming to the top, but when I shake it, it's moving from side to side. Also, you'll start to see how some of the glitter is in larger lumps because of the oil. So I'm gonna shake it some more. Now, the glitter is all around the sides of the bottle. And throughout time, what will start happening is your glitter will start to settle, but every time that you shake it, you will be able to see the glitter move from side to side. All right, I hope you've enjoyed making a sensory bottle with me today. Please comment below with your name so I can give you a special welcome next time we have an art activity and give me some ideas for some arts and crafts that you would like to see. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.